Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Weekly Contest 300. Number of people aware of a secret. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So this one is a dynamic programming poem. I will also pre pre preface this by adding this, that you can do this with matrix multiplication, which we'll go over at the end, but very briefly, we're not going to implement or anything like that. Um, and it, it will depend on um yeah i mean it's not the solution for all of this but it depends on you know some other parameters right so we'll, we'll talk about that part near the end but otherwise this is going to be dynamic programming and the way that i think about dynamic programming here is almost like a simulation to be honest the way that I thought about it. And if you look at how I solved this problem, you know, during the next part, you'll kind of actually see how I try to visualize this as well, right? I, I've, what, what I'm, maybe it's not exactly dynamic programming. Maybe that's not quite the right, right I mean, it is dy dynamic programming and how I think about it, but some of it could just be simulation in a smarter way, but keeping track of all the uh, states in a good place. Um, and, the hardest part for me, to be honest, is just off by once. But the idea here is that, okay, that's, what would simulation look like, right? Well, so now, for, remember that forget can only go up to n. So we, so what I did is that I create an array of people, bef basically how many days before they forget, right? So we start at, and this is for me, I, I start at off by one. So that actually made the off by one stuff a lot weird. But what I mean by that is that the first index have one day before they forget and so forth. So then the idea here is that, okay, we start in the beginning, one person knows the secret to is this, right? Um, so, okay, let, let, let me just write. So day one is this, and I didn't even put in any input yet, but we can look at say um, here, right? Um, okay, so actually in that case, this is actually just the way that I have it, right? So this is day one. Well, day two, what happens? Well, day two, now one, everyone moved to the left because now they, one day happened, right? So yeah, maybe I'll write it like this. So day two happened, right? Um, but because there's a two-day delay, this person haven't been able to tell anyone yet. And then now day three, what happens? Well, again, one person go forward um, because that person lost a day. But remember that that person also able to tell someone. So that means that day three looks like this. What does day four look like? Well, now everyone shifts to the left again because one day happened. But also this person or this person, depending on how you want to look at it, also told an extra person, right? So now this is this. Day five, how, what does that look like? Well, this person already totally forgot. So everything else shifts to the left. Um, and here, this person told one person. So it looks like you know, you increment by one because there's just one more new person, right? And then now day six, again, so now you shift everything to the left. But then now here, the two people that I told someone new, so then this is a two. And that's basically the idea of how to get a five. Uh, uh, and then, uh, of course, you can keep going because that, that's the thing. But now you have one, 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 one two, zero. But then now these three people told someone new, so this is a three. Right, day eight is the same thing. So now you have one, two, three, but and zero. But now these three uh, days of people took the thing, and that's basically the idea. Uh, and using I, I call it dynamic programming, but really now that I think about it a little bit more, maybe it's just simulation. And that's basically the idea about how to solve this. Um, yeah, and I'll go over the code. Um, basically, I start with mod because forgetting the mod is very sad. Uh, but then, other, and again, we start with, you know, one person in the beginning, um, and therefore this is day one. So we just go days after n minus one. And here we set a new matrix. Um, I, I guess I kind of did this in a, or I, I, I'll rewrite this to be, it doesn't really matter the order, but basically this is what we said, right? Um, we shift everything to the left. Let me just write it out. Uh, shift. Uh, spend a day, shift everything left. And then here, everyone that can tell someone, now they start on the newest 
thing, right? So that's what this cell is for. It's just this prefix. And of course, you can actually, I think you can do this in, hmm, I honestly think you can, so this is n square. So I think you can do this in n log n if you're able to do this sum in a very cheap way. Um, and actually maybe even O of n if you're very smart about, you know, using like a circular array or something like this. And then just like keeping track, almost like a sliding window type thing, right? Um, but but that is going, so you can do this, I think, um, as a result, because then now you don't have to do the shift. And if you do this in O of one by keeping the sum of everything inside the window, I think you could do this in linear time actually, uh, where linear is n, so maybe it's not linear per se, but O of n times is what I mean. Um, and I just making sure that I mod and yeah, that's basically the idea. So let me write it out, right? So here, my, my solution is O of n time and O of n square space kind of, you can say this is O of n space if you like, because um, of eh, garbage collection and all this stuff. But um, but that, okay, fine. Let's say this is it, right? But it seems like you can do this and this in all of one if you're really quite clever, or not just quite really clever, just like you know, keeping track a little bit. I could be wrong about this, so let me know in the comments whether you try this. Uh, and then, and the other thing that I was going to say is the matrix multiplication thing. Um, so this one is a little bit tricky in that it'll, it will be, um, it is actually, eh, I say N, so maybe this N is confusing because that is more of a factor of forget. So so here, everything inside is O of F, where F is forget. So this is actually technically O of N times F, where space is O of F, maybe O of F squared, but O of F, right? Um, I know that F is bound by N, but this is a tighter bound. And if you do mod matrix multiplication, this would be f cube, maybe. Um, f cube log n. I mean, of course, you can also... So this is the cost of one matrix multiplication, and this is log n being, uh, you know, um, matrix... Oh, matrix multiplication. I meant matrix exponentiation. Exponents? Whatever. Exponents, say, right? Um, so yeah, so using that technique, you can cut it down to this. If... Uh, of course, this is better if f is small and you have a large, large n. And of course, in that case, it's going to be f of square space for, you know, the matrices and stuff like this. Maybe of f square log n space, depending on how you want to define it. Um, and of course, as I said, um, this can actually be defined maybe in O of n plus f time. Because here, then if you can able to do this in O of 1, then this will be O of f. Um, so, yeah and O of F space, maybe. Uh, let me know if this can be done. I, I'm not gonna try it, but I think you can, because just by using a circular array, you just keep on keeping track of the last one. And here is just the sum of like a range, which is a sliding window anyway. So um, so yeah, and if you really want to be a little bit lazier, you don't have to be exactly O of F, uh, or you don't have to be O of uh, exactly F space, you can have like F times two space and then just like keep shifting, right? I think that is actually good enough, but, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is some problem. Hopefully the visualization is good enough for you to implement this on your own. Um, but if not, obviously here's the code. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. You could watch me solve a live dinner contest now. Uh, what a silly mistake. <sighs> okay. Mod, 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 mod. And what is N? N is a thousand. Delay. Okay. 
Be a little bit better about it, but it should be okay. Quite true. Is that if Remember to mod, 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 mod. This isn't quite right. Hmm. Why is that? Left a tilde. It's okay, so I is zero. That's not right. It's kind of right. right. Delay is two. So delay is two means okay. and then three and then here it's two. Oh, I'm wrong in this anyway, but But mm, That's not quite right, but mm. 
This one, this person should have added. So yeah, that means that two. Oh, I've, I've, this is what I should have done. Okay. Forget minus delay, right? It's tweet, so this should be one, but now it's two, so. Uh. Why is this two? That's the weird wrong thing. Oh, I see. Of course, of course, of course. Mm. Still wrong though. So we can tell it's another one, so that's good. And then here now, this one tells one person, not two, right? Oh, because of this thing. This person does not, so. Um, Okay, and then now we have to do something like YOLO I should have tested a little bit more Okay that, That's the one time YOLO worked Yeah, thanks for watching Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button Join me on Discord Let me know what you think I'll see you later Stay good, stay healthy And to good mental health Bye bye